Hello, my name is Anthony Barocas with Aiba Communications, and today I want to give you a quick look at using a B4 lens on the LS300. What we have here is I'm actually speaking to you on a Canon B4 lens mounted mm. through a passive adapter to the LS300 using the Super 35, the entire sensor in 4K mode. Uh, right now I'm shooting between an f1.7 and a 2.8. I've estimated my focus, so if I'm a little soft, forgive me for that, but the, shot, the depth of field is about this much. And we are outdoors on a nice sunny December day in Texas. And we're gonna do a few quick tests with this lens, zooming and see what it looks like at different apertures and at different focal lengths on the LS300 using the entire 4K sensor, the Super 35 sensor. But here we are, yeah, so you can see I'm just using this, I'm just using a window as a reflector, so, but I still, manual focus is right there, and I can obviously walk around and do whatever I need to do to get the shot. Alright, here we are on a tripod, 1 16th on the shutter, we are at f2.8 on the lens. Let me close it down a little bit more, get some more color in there. This is full zoom. And here's hoping I have my back focus set right. <laughs> Haven't checked it on this camera yet. And that's all the way out. Once again, using the full Super 35 sensor in 4K on the LS300 with a Canon uh, 15X lens J15A by 8. Alright, here I'm all the way open. 1.7 on the lens. We have engaged the 164th filter. Uh, wide open the lens, full zoom. And I've bumped the uh, ISO up to 800 on the LS300. So I get a, a really shallow depth of field there. The histogram on the LS300 is uh, helping with exposure. And if I put expanded focus on, which is possible while shooting, I can see everything one-to-one -one on the camera's LCD. That helps with focusing. Let's try this with a deeper depth of field. This is f5.6 on the B4 lens. Recording in 4K on the LS300. Using J-Log, not using um, Log or anything like that. Not J-Log, I'm using Rec. 709, excuse me. So this is straight out of the camera. No uber cool grading. Now let's go to 1.4, close down the iris again. Obviously more depth of field. And what if we go open? How close can we get it? I am above f16 here on my way to closing the lens. So I can almost get that tree in the background in focus. I probably if I cheated the focus between the two of them. There we go. Since my close focus has been pulled so far close. So there you go. F16 and F1.7. 1.7. Another thing to remember is that the LS300 can shoot log. 
Right now, we are in log. Previously, I was using the Rec. 709, and with the log footage, you can recover a little bit more latitude out of it. Again, the camera is still only recording 8-bit internal in 4K, so there's not a whole lot more you're gonna gain with it, but in terms of a high contrast situation where you have someone in the dark or in the shadow and there's a bright background, it helps you, it gives you a little bit more to play with in post. Also of note, there's a cinema profile in the LS300. Now, I haven't delved into all of the settings that are available in the LS300 in terms of painting the picture, lifting the camera, affecting the highlights, the, the knee, and the pedestal and all of that there's a lot of capability in the camera that you can push and pull it you know and affect the the highlights it can bring them down automatically or you can fix the level so when can when considering my video versus what the camera can actually do remember i'm not an ls300 expert so there's a lot of more capability in the camera than what i'm showing right here in this video here we are back in Rec. 709. So this has been a quick tour of the B4 lens and various gamma capabilities with the LS300 from JVC. My name is Anthony Barocas. Thanks for watching.